Hello friends. Hello Hugh friends. Today we've got some new stuff uh, that I'm trying out. Essentially, uh, I have moved to a new room. Let me, let me start with that. This room here was my old man cave. I had a pool table here, couch there, TV there. I spent the last two weeks migrating everything from here into there. So fast forward, this is going to be the new gym. Uh, it's a bigger room. And we took the pool table out and put it over here in this main family room area. And you can see all of the exercise equipment. Well, some of it that we've taken out of the old exercise room. Again, old exercise room, new man cave, old man cave, new exercise room. This is a lot bigger of a room, so this will be better. We put in some jujitsu mats. We're gonna put all the equipment back in here and set this up. I don't know how yet, but we'll figure it away. Also, uh, this room still has the view lights from when it was my man cave. And those showed up in a video I made a while back. These are just the um, ones that you can change the, the white Calvin uh, temperature on. Whereas in the new man cave, we've got color ceiling lights. Originally, I installed these Hue BR30 lights into my new man cave, except at 650 lumens, they just didn't do the trick. The room felt kind of dim. I'll try and give you a visual representation of, of how I felt it looked like compared to how it ended up with these. These things are beasts. These are recessed lights that sit into the ceiling and they have an output of 1100 lumens. So 650, 1100, what would you do? I had these in, I, I took them all out, I replaced them with these. We'll call that an expensive learning opportunity. So I have all these extra bulbs and I don't know what to do with them. Just kidding. Well, should we go in? We can do the reveal and then talk about the new Hue lights. Welcome to the man. I'm sure some people have cooler man caves, bigger man caves. Some people probably have smaller man caves that are cooler, but the point today is not about the man cave, it's about the hue lights. So let's get down to business because I had a lot of fun lighting this room. Okay, so at this point I'm sort of mixing and matching. I filmed some of the, the hue light installation and then I added some more stuff. So this is an edited together, like film some stuff before, filming some stuff now kind of thing. But I wanted to go through uh, kind of what we, we have here. Obviously I already mentioned these before, they're the 1100 lumen uh, in ceiling recessed lights. I'm gonna show you how to install those in a little bit. I got some strip lighting ended up putting the strip lighting here and here and then over here as well. And the strip lighting is really cool. I have one little issue with it that I'll discuss a little bit later too. These are the Hue bar lights. You can position them vertically or horizontally and you can put them in corners or, or under stuff. It doesn't matter. They just provide some additional uh, like uh, room ambience. And then one thing I don't have the box for um, are the Hugo's. The Hugo's are the little half sphere lights that, that, uh, that Philips sells and they have a rechargeable battery so you can take them on the go. This is a game changer. This will allow you to control every Hue light with a standard switch. So I've got Batman here, but let's go back in time. Here's a switch and the issue with the switch is it only lets you control the lights in the ceiling that it's hardwired to. But with this module, you can actually use the switch to control every Hue light uh, in your entire room. So I'm gonna show you how that works as well. And I'm gonna use these upstairs and wire a couple in for an installation that I did in a previous video. These switches, you can see here, I've had them taped up in the on position. These control my Hue lights in the front of my house. I've made a video about that, uh, it's been a long time, but I'll put a link to it in the description below. This is gonna let me turn my standard switches into a Hue controlled switch. Then if people flick these on and off, not a big deal. And we can even program these so we can double flick them, triple flick them, and have the outside lights change from standard to Halloween to Christmas without using the actual app. Here is the exposed setup. These two control the outside lights, the porch and the garage. This one controls the chandelier, which is also filled with hue bulbs. Don't ask me why. Why, Cam? I don't know. Something's wrong with me. I told you not to ask. One module will control two switches, so I'll need two modules total for these three switches. What we want to do is create a continuous circuit. So let's, uh, let's wire stuff and make sure that works. 
You electricians at home can just tell me that uh, I've done this wrong if you notice something. Getting things set up in the Hue app is fairly straightforward. You're gonna go into the settings menu. And then from there, you're going to click into accessories and push the little blue plus button in the top right corner. Then you're going to find the thing you're installing. In this case, it's the wall switch module. So now you follow the instructions, making sure the module is installed and hooked up correctly. And then you're gonna to toggle the switch. And if all goes well, you'll receive a message uh, that the app has succeeded in connecting with your device. Switches are all installed. This is what happens when you have electrical tape on something for years and years. That is some goopa I will get off later. This is our porch switch. This is our eave switch. And this one controls the lights in the entryway. I'm gonna push this and these will go on. What's cool about these is you can program them to change the color of the light by clicking it again real quick. So I'm gonna do that on these. And it goes to Halloween, which is super nice and you don't have to use your phone. Um, and if you forget to configure it Halloween night, just flip the switch. Oh, that's not gonna help you if you forget, Never mind. Anyway, but then you can just flip your Halloween lights on. Same thing for the Eve lights and the porch. Hey Finn, hey Finn, how's it going? So here's how things shake out. We've got the power wires coming in here. They're just sort of hardwired together in a, uh, an always on circuit. Got the light switch here, and then the Q module is wired into the side. I'm gonna go flip the breaker back on, make sure everything works, and then we'll uh, get it all put back together. All right, it's back together. Uh, it works exactly like it should. Everything goes off, and everything goes back on, regardless of whether it's a an in-ceiling light or whether it's attached to an outlet. Uh, you will have to replace the battery periodically. I imagine it'll last for a, a year, a couple years, I don't know. Good job, Mr. Phillip and Mr. Hugh. I've always felt like uh, there wasn't quite enough light uh, in my room to see everything, and so I was pretty excited about these. I've got the can light pieces over there, and I'm replacing um, can lighting with this. I'm gonna show you what some people will probably consider a crime as far as my installation technique, but. I don't uh, want to take the can lights out and uh, mount these in the drywall and I don't have little spring things that come out. So check this out. I am using command strips uh, to mount these to the ceiling. I'm just going to bend these tabs up. The nice thing is I'm not removing them. If someone wants to use these lights later and install them where there's just drywall, you can bend them right back down. No problem. Uh, it's really cool the way they designed this. This just screws into the existing fixture, plugs into the light, and then the light sits in the ceiling like these guys that I've already done. That's an old light, that is the new light. So I'm gonna bend those up, I'm gonna put command strips here, 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 and here, and then just stick them up into the ceiling. For the bending, I'm not doing anything crazy, I'm just taking needle-nose pliers, you can use regular pliers too, and I'm just going to bend this here and twist it up, and I'm gonna bend the top and twist that up too. So it ends up looking like this, and the goal here is just to have no contact with the inside of the existing can light. That will just sit inside, hunky-dory, and now I'm gonna put the command strips on. You can go crazy if you want, but I cut my command strips up into smaller pieces, and I think that's gonna work just fine. Let's go put this in. Well, this just screws in. And then you plug this harness into your light here. Okay, now we just slide this up onto the ceiling, give it a little press, and we're done. That's it. The Hue light strips are like a lot of light strips. They've just got this rubber plastic cover over a series of little LEDs. For power, uh, this, this is the end of the strip and this cord comes out of here and runs into this little control box. And then this cord runs into an AC adapter that you then plug into the wall. I'll find a picture online and I'll, I'll put it here. Um, all right, these come in sets of six meter increments and then you can trim them to a certain degree to fit the space that you're in. Every so often along the strip, there's this little section here that you can cut through. This is the piece that came off of here and uh, just cut that. You can also buy extensions. So this one here is a six meter section plus an extension which has been trimmed at the end. They actually give you stuff in the box so you can reattach a piece that you've cut off. Um, so very cool, you know, kind of modular uh, design on these. I've only got one complaint and that is the adhesive they use on the back. They put it in little sections, which I, I kind of understand, but the, 
getting the paper off the back is really difficult and if you put them in the wrong place, man, heaven help you, they're not coming off. You, I mean, they kind of do, but it just tears the adhesive off and it clumps together. It's, it's very difficult. So as far as placement goes, initially I ran this strip back here. I don't, I don't really know why I did that, uh, but I put it back here and then it, it sort of backlights everything. And I, I don't think you really want that in most instances. So I think the best place to put the strip light is towards the very front of the cabinets. And then that gives you nice even lighting down and it lights everything behind it and in front of it. So this is where I put uh, that lighting. Kind of see here, everything back there is lit. Everything here is lit. This is my light strip here on my app. You've got uh, the full range of colors, just like any Hue product. So to make that uh, make that purple. Isn't that nice? You can make it any color you want. Now let's talk about this product. This is the Philips Glowing Orb Light. Uh, you can see that it comes with an adapter to plug it in, and then you can use it as much as you want. But if you unplug it, it still works. That is because this particular product has a battery. Whoa, did you guys see that? Yeah, next level, things I do for you. This is a Hue Go. So the Hue Go works like any of the other Hue products. This is my Hue Go here, and I can change the color on this. Look at that, make it green. The cool thing about this is you can take it with you outside, you could take it in your car. Now, you're like, Cam, how do you control it if you don't have the Wi-Fi and it's not on the, uh, the Hue network? No problem. This can be controlled with Bluetooth. You download the Hue Bluetooth app and then you can control it that way. And a lot of Hue products now can be controlled via Bluetooth, which is a, it's a nice update for the, uh, the product line. So here you can see what the Hue bar looks like. It's just a an oval light bar and you can position it vertically, you can position it horizontally, and you can put them anywhere. I've got two Hue bars behind the TV, so you can kind of see what you could do with them. You can make one side purple, one side green. You can make them both purple. It doesn't matter. You can make them any color you want. This corner, what do you see? Nothing. I know, hold on. Now you see Batman. Well, a silhouette. You can position them wherever you want, behind things, in front of things, over things, under things. The world is your oyster. Let's turn all the bars on. So we got some bar love going on here. We got the TV, got the purple and the green. We've got Batman illuminated from behind with some blue. We've got some yellow light coming out from here. We've got some blue light coming out from under the console. And Alita over here in this beautiful pink backlit hue. I don't even know if I talked about, this is crazy. This, uh, this curio cabinet. I actually have one other kind of hue light in here. Although it's sort of the same as the recessed lighting in the ceiling, it is a four inch recessed hue light that I retrofitted into my curio cabinet. This is what was in there before. And after stressing about how to find a way to get this to be a hue bulb, I realized I could just take the recessed light, cut a bigger hole. Here's some pictures of uh, the work. I cut a bigger hole and I found a way to mount that light in there, did some you know, jerry rigging with the wiring. Very safe, very safe, safety first. Now I have a hue light in my curio. So we go back to here, my curio down light. Red, red when they're gonna kill you. And then blue when they're sort of deciding like what they'll do. Uh, and green, green when things are good, I think. At this point, everything's wired up. I've got a lot of lights in here. So in this room, there are 17 hue lights total. Uh, of course, one strip counts as one light. Now with the push of a button, we can change them into all kinds of crazy stuff. I actually like working in blue light. I don't know if that's healthy. I actually meant to Google that. Is blue light bad or good for you? I love blue light. So this is what it looks like in blue. There are so many different scenes that Hue provides at this point. Ooh, look at this, trick or treat. Let's do it. Oh, I'm feeling so Halloween-y. Ooh, precious for when I feel pretty, which is actually a lot of the time. Arctic Aura. I like that one a lot. This reminds me of the, the Let It Go song. This is the scene I configured for real life. And this is just all the lights on. You can work in here. There's no vacuum light. There's nothing coming out under there. But this is nice. This is a good working environment, I think, for me anyway. Of course, there's this side as well. Got my piano nook, curio, uh, and then this Batman box, because he just, he just arrived today. Look at this guy. Christian Bale doing Batman stuff. Okay, all right. Well, that was longer than I intended. That's gonna do it though. Uh, I think we covered everything. The recessed lighting, both sizes, the uh, hue strips, the go lights, and then the, uh, the bar lighting. And, oh, and of course, 
this little magical switch back here. Okay, guys. Well, hope you all had a good time, and we'll uh, catch you later. Take care. Yeah, I'm still here. Are you still here? Okay, let's not make this weird. Okay, bye. Are you, are you still there? Okay, bye. People say I have a lot in common with Scrooge McDuck. I think that's not a compliment. I, I don't know.